So first of all, I'd like to introduce Tim Coates and really thank him for coming down um, to, to address us. Tim has nearly 40 years experience in publishing, book retailing and consultancy, including working as MD of WH Smith's Europe and Waterstones. In the past 12 years, he's analysed and written extensively about the public library services and is the author of The Good Library Guide and Who's in Charge? Responsibility for Public Libraries, a report used in many countries to assess public library services. He's advised ministers, the DCMS and the Audit Commission on practical improvements to libraries and perhaps most importantly for us tonight, has worked with councils in Hampshire, Portsmouth, Oxford, Richmond, Westminster, Cumbria and most famously the London Borough of Hillingdon to help improve book ranges, increase open hours and create welcoming buildings. In Hillingdon, working with the Conservative Council, Tim helped to save 20% in costs in the library service, kept all the libraries open and increased usage by 84%. Tonight we hope he's going to tell us how we can do the same in Somerset <laughs> and not just save our libraries but also our opening hours. We'll have to have a signal. We're having. We're arranging signals. <laughs> so if I, what if I do? If I do that, what do you take? Yeah. You can see. We can. It's all mirrors and smoke. Um, can you hear me? I'm, I, I don't propose to use the microphone because I, I hope you can hear. But if anyone, you know, does have difficulty, just say. Say. Okay. I'll, I'll. I'll try. And then, if you have problems at the back, but tell me that it's, it's difficult to hear. And I'll speak louder, more loudly. Uh, first thing, I just want to kind of, just to sort of set a base for the evening, to sit by, by saying simply that I am absolutely non-political. I have no interest in the politics, the party politics. So forgive me, or don't forgive me for that, whichever way you mind it. I don't mind at all, but I'm not political at all. Uh, and, and the other thing I, I want to say as a kind of base for the discussion tonight... Uh, I am not, in any sense, would never, wouldn't, wouldn't question this idea that the council has to remove 25% from the budget, and that includes public libraries as well. I mean, I've taken that completely as read. I understand the situation, and I'm not arguing with that. that my starting point is that has to happen, and and what really what I'm talking about is ways in which it can happen, but still, I hope, bring improvement to the public library service rather than a reduction in the service. That's 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 the challenge. Uh, I am going to talk figures, which is I, I know for some people is a pain, pain in the neck, but it's obviously with money involved, I need to. But but before I start showing graphs and numbers and things like that, I wanted just to show you a picture of a nice library, uh, because that's what it's all about. It's buildings full of books, nice place to go and work, uh, a nice building that's open. That for us all. And in all the market research, you are no different here to anywhere else in the country. Uh, th those are, that's the essence of what makes um, a, a useful uh, and, and, uh, and interesting and enjoyable public library. So just let, uh, no, so I'm going to go on to figures now. Okay. <coughs> Absolute simple basics. In the consultation document that was put out by, the, by Somerset County Council in December, it explains that the budget for the public library service is £5.4 million. Pounds. That means that's the money that the council allocates out of all the taxes that it gathers from whichever source. That's the amount of money that they allocate for, for public libraries. It's not the only money that they have because in, ad in addition to the money that the council allocates, there is a certain amount of income that comes into the libraries. That's in part, it, the money that you, you might pay in terms of rentals or fines or fees for odd things or different things for which you have to pay. And in the case of uh, Somerset, it also a, a substantial part of it comes because of an arrangement that Somerset has with another four councils, I think, around you, uh, where, in which Somerset do some of the work that the other councils do and the other councils pay back. Pay, pay back some money to you. So, so the actual total amount of money for the library service isn't 5.4 million. It's actually 6.5 million. That's just that's the point of that slide. Just nothing, nothing, nothing clever about. It. And as that consultation document said, the council needs to take 25% uh, 
of its the, what it what it was giving um, in order to and, and that's the reduction in budget that they have to find. So that that 25% is of the of the of their money. So it brings the budget down to 5.15 million. That's just going to lay in the ground what has to happen. Thank you. Tom. So we know, and I'm only state, I think hope, hopefully stating correctly, that the proposal, which has just been revised this week, uh, but the proposal is to withdraw the funding from a number of libraries, from now from 11, it was 20, uh, of, of the libraries, and, there, and, a, and a set of other cost reductions measures and some income raising measures uh, in order to meet their target. So that's, that's the situation. That's what they have said that they need to do. <coughs> um, I, don't, I hope Tony doesn't mind me asking, but in, following that consultation, the, on behalf of the residents, some other questions were asked of officers of the council to provide a bit more detail. And um, the, d the detail that was given explained with a list of the 34 libraries just how much they cost, with, with, a, with a good deal of detail about the staffing costs, the other costs relating to the, the buildings, how much the mobile libraries cost, and, and w w what the book fund is, or and in fact what the what the materials fund is it's called, which means books and DVDs and other items that they buy. So th this this table here is simply the figures that come from the council about the 34 libraries. That's what it costs: 3.52 million pounds to operate the 34 libraries. Thanks, Tim. So. We know that there's £6.5 million pounds of money which the council would like to see reduced to £5.15 million. and we know that the libraries, the 34 libraries, cost £3.52 million pounds to operate and there's a gap between the two figures. I'm only trying to... I hope you I hope I understand what I'm saying. It's not too complicated, OK? So far you're with me. Thanks, Terry. So the, there is... The libraries and the mobiles cost 3.52 million, and 6.5 is the total. So there's a balance which I've called, for the want of you, for the want of an expression, non-frontline costs or non-library-based costs or whatever you like to call it, 2.98 million. <coughs> now, in the course of what I'm going to say this evening, I'm going to make three recommendations, and these. Our recommendations, it's not, my, it's not my position to make recommendations to the county council, but if I were, if you were to ask me what you might do as residents, I, that I, I, my suggestion is to you that there are three recommendations that you might make to the county council. I think the next slide is the first one. Recommendation one is simply that in the need which we accept to reduce the budget by 1.35 million pounds, from 5.4 to 4.05 with the slide. The council should request the managers of the library service to reduce their net expenditure on non-frontline or non-library based activities from 2.98 million to 1.63 million. In other words, all I'm saying is simply, it will be better from your point of view from the point of view of the library service that's operating, if they could find a way of taking that money from the back office instead of taking it out of the libraries themselves. Do you, do you understand what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. OK. Now, not quite the whole story, because every council in the country reports their library budget to a, a, a national body called the Chartered Institute of Public Finance Accounts. I'm, 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 I think they call something like that. But everyone refers to it as SIPFA. And, the year, and, and I've just put up the last three years, because I, 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 I have these. Um, and in 2007-8, the net public libraries budget that Somerset County Council reported was 7 million, with an income of 1.1, making a total amount of funds available of 8.1 million. And then in 2008-9 it was 7, and 2009-10 it was 6.8. And the budget, which they also report in the same annual round of, they call it estimates, but these, that's what it means, is 6.4. For the current year, the year that's in progress at the moment, 
the budget was 6.4 million reported, an income of 1.1, making a total of 7.5. Now, I couldn't work out why, knowing those figures, why in the consultation document that you were shown, that the, that the council told you that the budget was actually 5.4 million. Because that's not what they had, that, that, what they were reporting nationally. And what I wondered about that was, because I had an inkling about what the difference is, which I'll, 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 I'll explain it. But what I wondered was whether the councillors knew that. I wondered what budget, what the, what the councillors believe the library budget is. Because I looked in the documents to see what it was they had been told. And, it, and the first point I think to make is that if the budget is, as reported to sit for, 7.48 million, my blue line on the left, and the library-based operating costs, which is what we looked at before, are 3.52 million, the cost of running the third <laughs> library. That means that the, the non-library-based costs, the office costs, the non-frontline costs, whatever we're going to call them, actually amount to nearly four million pounds. Do you, are you with me? Do you follow my point? There's an awful lot of money that the libraries, that is expended on the library service, on your behalf, but never gets near a library. That's my point. And uh, I hope that graph is clear enough. The green, it's the green box that worries me. Because I think if the savings are going to be made, they should be coming out of that, rather than out of the libraries themselves. Thank you.